Okay, everyone, we are ready to get started. The Minister of Culture, Ron Orr. So good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I guess I should take that off. Um, I'd like to acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory, home of our Indigenous people. It's also a, a land that's deeply important to our Métis people here in Alberta and, and now recently to uh, many immigrants from around the world. Um, I'm here today and very pleased to be able to introduce, uh, to announce Bill 75, the Arts Professions Recognition Act, to be tabled in the legislature today. Uh, it's a very timely and strategic piece of legislation. Uh, this year is actually the 50th anniversary of Alberta's first cultural piece of legislation and first culture minister. And so uh, what we're trying to do here is actually to affirm and even advance Alberta's c commitment to uh, uh, culture and to the importance that culture is to the people of Alberta. Um, culture has is, is, uh, always been important to Albertans, and uh, so we're affirming and advancing that. Uh, I'm really committing the Alberta government here to support the arts and culture as we move forward. So it's, it's, it's vision renewed is what it is. During the pandemic, uh, we have seen how important that actually is because uh, for the mental and the emotional health of Albertans, uh, we have discovered how important culture uh, the arts uh, and all of the different things that we're used to attending are. Sometimes you don't realize what you've lost until it's gone. And many people during the struggles of the pandemic uh, turn to the arts to help them through these challenging and difficult times. And so for this and many other reasons, uh, art and our province's creative and cultural industries are an important part of our community and our social life here in Alberta. Uh, art inspires. It celebrates our past and peers into the future, uh, but more importantly, it defines who we are and passes our culture from one generation to the next. I've spoken to many artists and leaders in the arts sector in my time, both as culture minister and prior to that as culture critic, uh, to book publishers, filmmakers, uh, visual artists, uh, the Alberta Federation of the Artists. Uh, I've been at the Jubilee Theaters. I've, I've been to the Alberta Fringe uh, and others. Time and time again, I've heard the same concerns over economic security and respect for the arts as a profession. If you think about it, how many times have you or may you have heard someone say something like, oh, let's just find an art student to do it for free? Or perhaps, ah, they can do it for free and just add it to their portfolio and gain some kind of exposure. Well, it's pretty hard to live on just exposure. It's flawed thinking. And living with a family of artists, uh, I know firsthand that arts is work. It's a profession like any other that requires training and dedication. Like any profession, artists deserve fair pay for their skills and their experience, as well as the investment they make in materials. Some people don't realize that that can actually add up to be a lot. And when we pay artists for their work, they can build on their success and contribute even further to our society and to our economy. Arts professions in Alberta contributes 1.3 billion in GDP annually and sustains uh, in the range of 20,000 jobs for direct artists. But tragically, artists, even with university credentials, at or above the bachelor's level, only earn an average of about $30,300 a year. That's 55% less than the average earnings of workers in the overall labor force with the same level of education. So that's something that's unacceptable, something that we're trying to improve here. For our economy to cover, recover, we need to pay artists fair market value for their work as professionals. If passed, Bill 75 will formally acknowledge artists' value and contributions to Alberta. It will promote their work and their rights and provide them with resources to make their artistic enterprises profitable and sustainable. I think that's a key part. It will help protect artists' economic and contractual rights uh, and also contribute actually to a culture of contracts. It will emphasize in law Alberta's continued commitment 
to the freedom of ex artistic expression for Alberta artists. And it will model a way for private and nonprofit employers and contractors in Alberta's economy and uh, uh, to uphold uh, the professional uh, nature of artists' work. That means respecting working conditions and pay scale agreements when engaging artists for work. The Arts Professions Recognition Act encourages investment in our most important resource, our people. It is also an important step toward meeting the Alberta government's ambitious commitment to grow the cultural industry by 25% over the next 10 years. Through the Arts Professions Recognition Act, we are making a statement that art is an important economic driver that creates jobs and helps Albertans with our recovery, but even more, it's a statement that artists are welcome in Alberta. Artists have a home here in this province. You can have a, a, a career and a family and make a living here in Alberta, and that's what we're here to try and make sure happens. So through this legislation, artists will gain professional, the professional recognition that they deserve, and it's just time to recognize the true value of Alberta artists, whether they're visual artists or music or film or digital or sculpture or textiles or theater or comedy or whatever it is, uh, we want to recognize them and affirm their work as professional and important to Alberta. So thank you. And uh, with that, I would like to introduce Chris Carson to come and just uh, share with us a little bit. Uh, I'll give you a brief biography. Chris uh, is the executive director, actually, for uh, uh, CARFAC in Alberta. He's the Alberta um, office here. Since 2010, uh, CARFAC is a nonprofit provincial uh, cultural organization that informs and promotes artists. It provides professional development opportunities and advocates on behalf of our Alberta's visual artists. It's an affiliate of the Canadian Artist Representation. Uh, and uh, Mr. Carson is also a practicing visual artist. I was just chatting with him about that a few minutes ago. So, uh, Mr. Carson, if you would please come. Thank you. Thank you very much for that warm introduction to me. And also, uh, I'd like to thank you as well for the support of the arts in Alberta. So uh, I am Chris Carson, the executive director of Carfac Alberta. And Carfac Alberta is one of eight provincial art service organizations. We serve and advocate for the visual arts sector. CARFAC Alberta is the provincial affiliate for CARFAC, the national art service organization that was instrumental in getting galleries and museums that received public funding to pay artists an exhibition royalty for exhibiting artwork. CARFAC is known for the words, has the artist been paid? Before CARFAC, often everyone working at an event was paid except the artist who is expected to work for free or for exposure. As an organization, CARFAC actively works to promote social economic climate that is conducive to the production of the visual arts in Canada. And I am happy that the proposed Arts Professions Recognition Act wants artists to enjoy the same social and economic benefits available to other Alberta workers. As an idea, status for artists is not a new concept, but rather an idea needed in Alberta. In 1980, the United Nations proclaimed recommendation concerning the status of the artist. In 1992, Canada's Federal Status of the Artist Act became law. Since 1992, half of the Alberta provinces enacted provincial status of the artist legislation. Alberta has been left out until now. I am an Alberta professional artist. I was a full-time practicing artist for well over a decade. I experienced why having a contract was vital. My first commission was based on a handshake with nothing in writing. When I finished the art commission, the engager said, this is not what I wanted. I'm not going to pay for this. Without a contract, 
I did not have a strong legal case to get paid for my artwork. The Artist Professions Recognition Act will promote the importance of contracts when engaging artists for services, ensuring fair financial treatment for artists. As a practicing professional artist, I know that contracts lead to fair compensation and economic security for artists. Now, provincial legislation is necessary to better support artists by recognizing the unique circumstances and by protecting their rights on a local and provincial level. In 2020, Carfac Alberta, working with other stakeholders, developed seven best practice documents outlining the ways transactions between artists and engagers should work. These best practices work when communities accept these ground rules. Having the Artist Professions Recognition Act legislation on the books will give these best practice documents more validity since the Alberta government will honour scale agreements of artist associations, honour working conditions, protocols established by artist associations, and will require a written contract between artists and government bodies. And they'll outline requirements for such contracts. The Alberta government will lead by example, thus strengthening Alberta's art sector. Now, why now? Alberta was involved in, or Carfax Alberta was involved in stakeholder meetings about status of the artists in 2019. Then came COVID, which devastated income for artists. Canadian or Alberta artists were making just over $25,800 before COVID. But during 2020, artists estimate that around 83% of their income was lost. These statistics come from I Lost My Gig Canada. Alberta clearly needs provincial status of the artist legislation for artists to recover from COVID and to begin to prosper and thrive in Alberta. Carfac Alberta supports the goals of growing Alberta's cultural industries by 25% by 2029. When Alberta artists prosper, so does the province of Alberta. Carfac Alberta will continue to be involved in the next steps, that of the implementation plan for Bill 75, the Artist Professions Recognition Act. Artists are skilled and hardworking members of the workforce and deserve to be paid for their work. Carfac Alberta welcomes provincial legislation that can support fair compensation and greater economic security for Alberta's professional artists. Thank you. Wow, thank you very much, Chris. Um, what a wonderful statement about uh, the need for this kind of a bill. So appreciate it very much. Look forward to continue working with you. Um, I'd like to now all also uh, invite, uh, I think it's going to be by telephone, uh, Maria, uh, pardon me, Mary, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Mary Rosa de Coquette is an art sector leader with more than 25 years experience uh, in innovative management programs, uh, con contributions to public policies and research. Uh, Ms. Rosa de Coquette's term on the Alberta Foundation of the Arts Board of Directors began January 11th, 2020. She assumed the chair role on April 15th, 2020. Uh, she is the chair and president of the Rosa Foundation as well, a foundation that uh, is a philanthropic uh, organization known for effective support and advocacy for the arts in Alberta. Had the opportunity to meet with uh, Ms. Rosa and uh, invite her to be able to share. I think you can put her online by telephone now if that uh, is possible, please. Oh, there she is. Wonderful. Welcome. Great. Thank you very much, Minister. And uh, uh, I just have to say, think of the wine. It's Mary Rosé. So, uh, and, and that, is, that is also what the arts help us think of. The times that are positive and joyful and bring us together. 
So we all know that the arts are essential and healthy to a prosperous economy and to a prosperous society. And it's a sector that doesn't stand alone because it influences, as I said, all aspects of our life and public endeavors. The arts improve mental health and education outcomes and build social cohesion. In some of the work that I've done in the past, we typically say, let's bring the arts from backstage to center stage. And I think that that is what this act, this Arts Professions Rec uh, Recognition Act is all about. It's important for everyone to understand that the government consulted with hundreds of artists, arts organizations, and arts service organizations to craft this meaningful legislation. These are issues that matter to artists. As we know, our recovery is going to be based on employment. And so this is very, very timely work. However, legislation is only helpful if it's implemented. And the Alberta Foundation for the Arts is pleased to partner with the government to ensure that the benefits to artists are maximized. As a trusted advisor, the Alberta Foundation for the Arts will continue to engage stakeholders and to listen well to ensure that the toolkit of contracts and communication tools is truly effective to see if there are other things that will be helpful to ensure the proper and well-recognized employment of our artists. Together with grants, growing the visual arts collection, the Month of the Artist and other initiatives, the goal of the Alberta Foundation for the Arts is to promote the arts sector, to build resiliency, and to encourage Albertans to enjoy, support, and be proud of our artists and arts organizations. And I believe that that is the intent of this legislation as well. So hats off, Minister, to the government for this new Arts Professions Recognition Act. Thank you. Okay, that wraps up today's conference. We'll now have time for questions from the media. Um, if anyone would like to join the queue, and you can put through the first caller. Uh, the first question is from uh, Fish Grifkowski, Edmonton Journal. Please go ahead. Hey, thanks for taking my question. Um, listen, I appreciate these acknowledgments and suggestions, but isn't the best way to support artists in venues with increased financial support to foster more art, especially after COVID where they had recurring mandates of the, uh, against being able to perform and function? Um, well, yes, there is definitely a need for that, and that's why we've had the, uh, the uh, um, um, support program in place, um, uh, $39 million, I think, over the last while, um, a lot of it going to performing arts, a uh, special program specifically for performing artists, uh, and so it, it's, it's definitely important. We've been doing that. We'll continue to do that. Uh, but the reality is this is more than just a COVID response. This is a long-term solution to a, a long-term challenge. Um, I think, as, as Mr. Carson indicated in his story of his own experience, that, that needs a long-term solution. And so we're committed uh, to putting in place uh, an ecosystem and a structure uh, that actually recognizes the value of arts uh, the value of the artists and helps them to actually um, have the respect, the professional respect and, and earnings um, that, that they should be receiving. So um, yes, COVID responses um, need to be there, but, but also the long-term solution. Okay, cool. Um, now, given a lot of venues and galleries, I would say most of them already deploy contracts for artists. I'm, I'm wondering where you're specifically seeing the need to promote and encourage but as I understand it, not actually mandate contracts. Yeah, so we, we are mandating contracts for um, uh, public agencies. Um, but, but you're right, in many cases, the, um, the organizations, the, the larger groups that have 
professional management uh, are using contracts, uh, have adopted that practice as they should, and quite frankly, as, as CARFAC and the Alberta Association for the Arts and some of the other groups would encourage them to do. But the, the reality is also that, that many, many artists as individual artists, uh, and, and, and the majority of artists uh, operate as um, um, entrepreneurs or independent contractors, however you want to say it, sometimes it's gig, gig uh, work, um, many of them personally or individually um, don't, uh, especially beginning artists. Um, for many artists, uh, the discussion of money is awkward, it's difficult, um, they don't like to do it, and you end up uh, with experiences uh, like Mr. Carson related, where, um, you know, he makes a good faith agreement with somebody to uh, to do their art, to do something for them, and then they don't want it. They refuse to pay. Um, I, I know situations personally where artists have done good work, beautiful work, uh, contributed, and then uh, the person who was supposed to buy it comes along and wants to uh, say, well, yeah, it's only worth this much, and they cut the price in half. Um, it leaves artists, individual personal artists, with very little recourse, um, and so by engaging and, 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 and helping uh, set a culture of contracts within the arts community itself. In many cases, I, I, I hope that it will protect them and increase their own capacity uh, for success and, and sustainability. Thank you, and uh, operator, okay, there are no more callers. Thank you so much everyone for coming today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.